this is Mitchell with his cardo on his finger. Taken on the 29th of December in the year 2000 and look what he's got. Broken arm. Hi, my name is Mitchell Roberts and this is my application to become a Heritage Expeditions Ambassador for the Southern Ocean and its islands. My parents are a major influence in my life. Family trips were often spent searching for little animals and the inspiration in the bush. Volunteering was very valued growing up, which led me to being a youth leader, coaching hockey teams, recording platypus surveys, attending planning days, and volunteering for Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service. I currently work in the agricultural science space, working on insect resistance monitoring through traditional breeding methods and using PCR to look at the genetic code. Having this experience will allow me to understand and convey the important research done by the Southern Ocean researchers. My passion for photography and wildlife have really directed my future's path. I'm wanting to share my experiences and lessons I've learned to help others through tutorship, photo and video. Also sharing the conservation efforts led by people that have enthusiasm for what they are doing. I've recently worked with a local land care group with the backing of International Fund for Animal Welfare to create an informative video showing how they are working together to connect fragmented patches of forest. This was a great way to use my video skills to benefit a conservation effort. With the Bunyas to Border project, which is a quite a significant project with multiple stakeholders and national, international stakeholders, we were looking for somebody who was able to basically be very personable, be able to deal with multiple stakeholders, particularly very professional organisations, plus also landholders, people, you know, just wanting to do the right thing by nature on their property. So Mitchell was ideal for that. He was able to present professionally, but he was also able to engage with landholders. So, in, and also the fact that he's very much a listener. So he wants to know what things mean to people and his ability to put that together in a creative product was for us just uh, such a bonus and it's become probably our most significant piece of promotion for that B2B project. He has a natural curiosity and to me that is the most significant attribute a human being can have is natural curiosity and he does have that, particularly for the natural world. The fact that he can listen and extract stories from people and put that together to create a narrative about whatever the topic is and then to sort of bring to that the professional video making skills and so forth. It just produces a product that captures everything that you want. That the people's story, the story of nature, professional kind of polish to it and so forth. And you can't do that unless you've got the personality for it. I've also been sharing my work through a yearly calendar, which is a collection of my wildlife photos from the year. I'm now in the process of making a wildlife photography class that will give students a great basis for finding their own vision and bringing it to life. As an ambassador, my aim would be to capture engaging shots that show the uniqueness of the Southern Ocean and to create a video of the trip. I'll be excitedly sharing my adventure on my website and socials, also with my local camera club and conservation groups like the Twomba Bird Observers. This scholarship really is a great opportunity for me, experiencing the Southern Ocean and being able to kickstart and build momentum for hopefully a long lasting career in conservation. One aspect that makes me a good candidate is my continued focus and effort on improving my photographic skills and creativity. I'm always searching for the next image that sparks inspiration for other people. To me, it's more than just images. It's about engaging your audience and creating an emotional connection through a visual narrative. If we want people to care for a cause, we need to show them why.